How's it going, everybody? Today we're playing Kuzumbo on the mid-season patch. And for those that do not know, there is a crazy new item in this patch that I did not think, think would make it to live client. Um, that is going to be pretty insane on Kuzumbo. Oh, we're against a tank, which is good. That's kind of what I need. Uh, uh, but obviously, this chalk has a lot of stars. It could be scary. But anyways, the item, I will show it in a second. Uh, we're going to skip a starter item and we're going to start with Bancroft's. So I think that is the strat. There's also a new glyphs for Bancroft's. I will put the the uh, patch notes in the description, by the way, since I think, uh, you know, if you haven't seen them, you, you will definitely want to look at them in depth. But the new item I'm talking about is this one, Sphinx Bobble. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Your cooldown reduction cap is increased from 40% to 60%. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen my my Bumbus Hammer Kuzumbo videos where you can basically spam the his abilities almost nonstop. With this item, I guarantee you could probably spam them nonstop with Bumbus Hammer. Um and they just they won't they won't be able to like like you can just use your abilities nonstop because of the way Kuzumbo's 2 works. Kuzbo's 2, whenever you take damage, it lowers the cooldown of his 1 and 2. And hey, if you lower the cooldown of the 1 and 2, that means you're getting more Bumba's Hammer procs, which is lowering the cooldown of the 2, which is lowering the cooldown of your 1 and 3, and that's pretty much how it works. But, but with that item plus Bumba's Hammer, uh, plus I guess Breastway of Valor or whatever, having 60% cooldown, it's pretty insane. I think it's, it's I don't know, pretty... I don't, I, I don't want to say unstoppable. Oh, you're coming over here instead of the wave. I'm okay with that. I'm cool with it because it means that you're missing XP and gold. I can also just kind of stand here until you decide to come over here. Yep. Let's see if I can push him a little bit. Not that much damage, unfortunately. Now, this does mean that I'm going for a super late game build. Uh, and also, I'm not going to have that much room in my build. I have room for Breastplate of Valor, Bumba's Hammer, and the new item. And that's kind of it. I maybe didn't need a recall there, but that's all right. Um, so, somewhere in my build, I'm probably going to need Divine Ruin. And then somewhere else... And then I guess I have two items left. Which is probably going to be, like, Obsidian, because it's Chalk. Maybe Rod of Tootie? I'll end up selling Bancroft's late game. Or I could keep Bancroft's late game and use the new glyph, which would probably be better since it's a new item. Uh, the glyph I'm interested in is the one that it essentially... You get stacks over time, and you can consume a stack to do percent health damage while also gaining a shield that's based on your health, which is pretty awesome. Also, I'm glad he has bluestone, because that'll make my cooldowns even better for my one... For my two, I mean. Might even upgrade my, my two a little early in this game. Just because I think I will be getting some good use out of it. He's kind of low on mana, but of course, chalk passive. I do have Aegis, so I'm not too scared. Although I chose to ult instead. And yeah, we're good. Now he's kind of low. We're both kind of low. I can back and get Bancroft's if I really want to. I kind of wish I'd blink here. Kind of wish I'd blink. Nah, we'll just back. We'll just recall. He can stay and clear that wave if he wants or doesn't want. Either way. Important thing is that we don't let Chalk get ahead because late game we're going to be monsters. The next item, I will get Breastplate of Valor. If I really wanted more cooldowns, I could try going for Kronos Pennant, but I think if I go Kronos Pennant, that means I'm going to have to get defense, and just too much of my build is already taken up, and it won't be very flexible. Also, I don't think I'll have enough pen and power late game if I do that. There's also a high chance I might need Book of Thoth, because when I was testing this in jungle practice, you run out of mana super fast, and I mean already Bumba's Hammer... Kuzumbo runs out of mana super fast, so yeah, I might go Book of Thoth, plus Book of Thoth is good with Breastplate of Valor, but that'll give me a huge amount of power, and then, yeah, if I have Divine Obsidian Shard or whatever, that should be good for late game. I don't need a recall. I have blue buff. 
Those minis are almost up. Do good damage. I'll be able to push him into my tower. Oh, he ulted. That's fine. Your middle tower is under attack. Might try to bait him with my ult. Depends. Nah, we're good. I still have 58 seconds on Chalice, so I think I can stay with Bancrofts. I feel okay doing so, especially if I can push him into the lane. I think he's going to try to do that. Let's ult. Ooh. Got a shell. Still have my Aegis, just in case. Definitely should be using it a bit more. Alright, we're fine. A uh, little bit behind, 200 gold, but that's basically nothing. Like, that's, that does not even matter when I'm trying to go late game. Level 9, that's good, that's good. Now, relic-wise, what do I want? I probably want Sunder, Sprint, or Blink. The reason I think Sprint is that he already has a slow, and if I go, if he gets Frostbound, I really want to have Sprint. Otherwise, uh, I could end up getting slowed forever. Which shouldn't be a problem with my Bumbus Hammer late game build, but still, it's good to think about. Sunder I like because he has Shell, and that counters that. Plus, uh, Ch Chalk is just naturally tanky. It kind of deals with that as well. Oh, we're doing nice damage. Yeah, I kind of think I should level up, should have leveled up my two, like I said earlier. If I did that, I would have got my three back right away. Uh, I'm getting... I'm just gonna put a point at my three though. We're fine. I'm just I like thinking out loud when I play. Um just kinda lets me evaluate what I should be doing or if it's a good idea, maybe not. I did not teleport there. Is this up? There's no way this is up. Nope. Alright, so we will get Breastplate. Yeah, uh, Book of Thoth definitely, I think, is the right option here. It'll give us better late game. This is... That's actually going to be a little bit longer than I thought. Yeah, he is back. I would go for red, but... Hold on on my one and the chances of him stealing it. Uh, might as well just go for my blue. I didn't think he would try to steal that. If he stole that, that actually would have been pretty bad for me. Okay, he went Jotun, so he has a ton of cooldown right now. That was actually my bad. I definitely want to recall here and definitely not... Uh, Lazy recall. I am going to put another point in my two now. Is he going to stop my back? Nope. Good as always. Also, uh, I know it's been a while since I've posted on YouTube. I'm sorry. I've been busy with my software uh, engineer internship. Um, it officially ends. It, got, it was initially just a summer internship, and then they extended it through to August 19th. So I still have some time to decide whether I want to stay with the company I'm with right now or not. Because they might hire me on full-time or, or not. I don't know. So kind of been thinking about that and stuff. But been busy with that. And I want to post more to YouTube. I want to be more regular with it. Um, but I definitely want to do more edited videos. And I don't know. Those have been kind of hard to do. <laughs> I feel like my editing style is so, so much of old YouTube, like old Smite YouTube rather than current Smite YouTube. I just need to find something that works for me. Oh, he upgraded that. That's one of the new items as well. Tempted to ult there, but I don't think that would do anything for me. So this one, every time you damage an enemy god, you gain a stack of wit. At two stacks, your next non-ultimate ability gets 25% cooldown instantly, which Chalk has a passive that after five auto attacks, his next ability has is free. It co doesn't cost mana and also has a lower cooldown by one second. So that item works really well in Chalk. I think we're going to see similar a similar strat, except the difference is that uh, he's not going Bumbus Hammer. I 
as you can see, his cooldowns are getting a little annoying now. Definitely not unmanageable, but it is getting there. I, I hate to be tower sitting as much as I am. It's kind of not fun for either of us. Hopefully when I get Book of Filth, I'll be able to fight more. And yeah, I think Sprint is the safest option here. Even if he goes Frost Bounce, like I could deal with it, but he already has a slow. It's just nice to have Sprint. It could really help me out. Red buff's coming up. I just kind of want to, I, I don't know, I'm playing a lot safer than I do, just because I really want to get this build online. Like, I don't mind too much. If anything, it's better if he has a lead, and then I get the build, and then come back. Just to show how ridiculous the item is. But, yeah. Definitely, definitely falling behind here. Not by crazy amount. Yeah, just trying to box him like that is not working. Alright, now I get Book of Thoth, get some wards, just in case he goes for Demon King. As long as my tower's up, uh, that's fine. He might get it here, let's see. He's going Hydras, okay, okay. Yeah, he does get tower here, but as long as I have Demon King warded, I'm not too afraid of that. I should get Divine Ruin, or I should get the new item next. I mean, getting the new item right now is not really going to do me anything, because I'm I'm not even at the cap. I won't be at the cap until I get Bumpus Hammer late game. So, I say we should hold on that. Ooh, I actually accidentally pushed a little too far there. Alright, I do have Sprint, so I think I can push a little bit. Plus, with my ult... Uh, I don't think I can get caught out. So I, I just kind of want to do that. Just place a ward on Demon King. I don't want any surprises. That's how I can lose the game, is if he takes that. And I have no clue. Kind of like right now. <laughs> oh, I didn't put the ward deep enough. I can't see what its health is at. Nay, nay. He gets away here, I'm pretty sure, just because of his abilities. We'll see. Maybe not. Uh, maybe he ulted too early. Okay, here we just definitely defend this. Now, uh, the uh, can't really chase a chalk because of that. But I delayed his back a little bit, which is good. Delaying the back should be okay. I'm already level 16. Actually, I'm going to start saving up for Bumpus Hammer very soon. Oh, he actually didn't recall. I feel like that might be a mistake for him. Because by not recalling, I don't think you have enough to stay and take my Phoenix. Maybe you do, because I have no anti-heal. The longer you stay, the, the more time I'm getting for my Phoenix to come back up. I just really need to keep him poked out, even though I have no anti-heal right now. I will let him, I will let him take red buff. I'm okay with that. I think his Demon King timer is actually almost completely gone. I'll leave those minions too. Uh, I'm also going to start on Divine Ruin. <laughs> I do need a... Eh, it's buying Tier 1 Bumba is kind of stupid here. Because I'm, I'm not even close to... I'm, I'm like getting to level 20, but not quite. But... Usually I start saving for Bumba's Hammer at like level 18. I'm almost level 18. So it's kind of a weird spot to be in. But definitely could have just finished Divine Ruin instead. And actually next back I'm going to finish Divine Ruin. 
Then last item is the new item. And then I can swap out Bancroft if I want or go to the new item, like I said earlier. Depends on what he's doing. Oh! I don't know why in my brain I thought that Chalk couldn't get that, even though it obviously has physical power. So he's doing the same thing I'm doing without Bumba's Hammer. <laughs> I'm terrified now. Because he already has a ton of cooldown. I think I'll, I'll be a way stronger once I get my other item. But as it is right now, uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty scary. Pretty scary Chalk. It's going to be scary for two levels. I think me getting Divine Rune will be a huge, huge help. So definitely want to do that. Also, they're missing a lot of axes. All right, let's get Divine. Then the rest of my money I save for Bumba's Hammer here. 100%. And then we'll get the new item. Kind of wish. I, maybe I could have got the new item instead of Divine, but Divine's going to keep me in this game, I think. Just for now. So we'll have to wait a little bit longer for the max cooldown build. I know, I know. Also, Bumpus Hammer only gives 10% now. Uh, it got nerfed. It used to give 20% CDR. I don't really know what they're doing. <laughs> I guess they're just in timers. I'm level 19. Okay, okay. Again, feels bad that I ha I, I did cap pretty hard this game. Uh, this does feel pretty bad. But I mean. They were, were perfectly fine, perfectly able to get Demon King. They just kind of wasted it. That's not really my fault. They had the full opportunity. Also, my Book of is going to evolve pretty soon, and that'll give me a nice power spike as well. Again, if they get red, as long as I get my blue, I'm okay with that. Cool with it. As long as he takes red buff on timer, I should always be able to get that blue buff. Now I'm level 20, so now we can go get, uh, you know, good old Bumba's Hammer. And then that's already basically old broken Kuzumba with Bumba's Hammer, so I should be good either way. But I, I just want the new item. They did swap Bumba's Hammer, so it's a lot less tanky. And now instead... It, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to have to sell Bancroft, actually, because I need pen. <laughs> but anyways, uh, Bumba's Hammer doesn't give as much health as it used to. Instead, it gives more power. And just kind of the stats switched overall. But the passive's pretty much the same. Less of a heal. But you still get the cooldown reduction. You still get the bonus damage. Just, yeah, pretty much less of a heal. All right, I say we try to fight a little bit here. Oh, just, just you wait until I get the new item, dude. <laughs> oh my god, that's so nasty. Also, I meant to have my Nene tank that, but kind of messed up. Alright, now let's recall. I was kind of scared that he was going to die to that and then F6. <laughs> but I really, really want to get this. In fact, I'm going to sell my wards even though I kind of want them. I'm just going to sit in base. I'm going to get this item right now. Uh, I'll probably recall pretty fast to get wards and uh, power potion. Because right now, I am I even capped cooldown wise right now? Uh, oh, it says 40%. Okay, I'm at... 20, 30, 40. I still need a power potion plus 10%, actually. So, yeah, I gotta swap out. Gotta swap out the, the Bancrofts. 
or something with 10%. Maybe a, uh, hmm, maybe Soul Gem. I guess in my head I kind of uh, thought we'd be at full cap once we got Power Potion. Obviously blue buff would work too, but that's not a permanent thing. He could totally go for Deepin King, but I'm not too worried about it right now. He's getting defense. He kind of skipped that for a while there. Oh, he actually, he also swapped out this item. Uh, the one that was letting him get a ton of cooldown. All right. Yeah, sorry. Or what other 10% can I get? No, I just really want Soul Gem, really. Plus it works pretty okay with a lot of abilities. Pretty much the only two items I can swap out is either Soul Gem for something else with 10% cooldown. Book of Thoth, which I definitely don't want to swap out. And Divine Ruin, which, again, Divine Ruin is pretty damn good. But I should be at 60% now, right? Yep. Okay. Alright, where you at, Chalk? Time to fight. Oh my god. <laughs> Obviously he can run away pretty easily, but still. Oh, I'm at the Aegis! No! I fat figured uh, sprint instead of Aegis. <laughs> it's fun, but without proper pen, I'm not doing much damage. <laughs> So much of my build is consumed by cooldown that I'm not I'm not having much pen right now. I could go spear instead, but that only gives 12 pen, which isn't a big deal. Oh, what about staff of Mirrodin? That gives 10% pen. Works for me. Did not realize I gave 10% pen. Plus, they changed the passive too, so another new item. <laughs> You get 25% increased damage dealt after ulting, and then it decays down, which, I mean, hey, that works pretty well, right? All right, let's go get Power Potion. Also, I'm amazed he wasn't able to just straight up take Phoenix. We're trying to find a build where I can have 60% cooldown while also having enough mana to use it, and having anti-heal and pen. <laughs> There's a lot of requirements for this build. Maybe I could forego the anti-heal, because at the end of the day, I'm spamming so many abilities that it's like, are you really going to heal? Also getting red buff is nice. I tried again there, but that did not work. I think he catches me 100% here. Okay, he did not. Uh, What's this one? I don't really care. Just give me something. <laughs> I forget the breastplate of Valor Glyphs. Honestly, either one's good for me. More protections or more... Uh... Or the, uh, the other one for after I ult. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> After using this new item, it, it does feel like a lot of my build is just consumed by things that isn't actually helping. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's like with already with Bumba's Hammer Kuzumbo with 40% cooldown, you can already kind of do this. You can't do it as much. There is a little bit of, a, of an in-between on the cooldowns, but... With this, it's genuinely non-stop. I actually can't auto-attack cancel 
uh, with my abilities faster, unless I cancel the three faster, which is mostly only if I hit a wall or whatever. This might be a bad idea. Um, oh, you got Wingblade. He has double defense now. But, uh, yeah. I mean... What I'm trying to say is you can just do this without the new item, and if you have more pen, it's probably better. But this is, this is so damn fun. You know, fun for me, not for, not for the chalk. <laughs> oh yeah, my phoenix is down, I forgot. I do have to go back because I'm running out of mana. Like, if I didn't have Book of Thoth, that'd be so bad. They're going to slowly heal up to full health, which is perfectly fine with me. They're also going to get red buff, which is not fine with me, but I got to clear the fire wave. Yeah, to say the best build for this situation, I would probably sell the new item for uh, the new item plus Mirrodin for like Obsidian Rod of 2D or something. Just something to have more more penetration. Because having all this power is not really helpful if it's all being mitigated. I'm also going to refresh my power potion because it's almost running out. Let's also buy... I think I'll get Entangled Wings. I almost never do. But the reason I'm getting Entangled Wings is because there's a lot of times where he's chasing me. And I just barely get away. Also, this is bad because in the mid, mid there's Fire Wave. And I don't even know if I can steal this. I just kind of need to get him off that. Uh-oh. Oh, he's going to cut this corner. Oh, dude. I, I'm not switching the build because I, I want it. I want the 60% cooldown, but man, it's not open as much as I thought it would. Maybe I should use my main aid less and just push more. I do have to go back to my fountain. That might be game, though. Just because there's so many minions. Oh no! Oh, GG's. GG's, man. That was my that was completely my fault. I should have turned around once he ulted or just droned my one instantly because it did come up. Oh man, this build is really fun. Having max cooldown, 60% cooldown on Kuzmo is really fun. But after playing it in a real match, I think just stick with Bumpus Hammer. Just just stick with Bumpus Hammer. It already works. Oh, I lost zero TP. What do you know? Um, it's already pretty good. And the stats you need in duel for other items is, is just is not much. Cause because at the end of the day, if you need 60% cooldown, you need uh like like you could switch like let's say this for Kronos Pennant and then go with different defense, but that's not really gonna help you. Like breastplate's pretty much the best cooldown you're gonna want for this build. Bumba's hammer is set in place. This is set in place. So then you have three other items. Against Chalk, you kind of need Divine Ruin. Without that, he's going to be healing so much. Plus, it's Pen, so it's good. Book of Thoth, I guess you could get away with switching Book of Thoth for, like, something with Pen, but you really would run out of mana so fast. Because, like, I mean, Kuzma's abilities, like, you could probably go through a few rounds of them, and then you end up running out, and then they, they just kill you. Um... Staff Mirrodin, this could be switched for any 10% or hell, even Chronos Ben if you wanted to overcap for whatever reason. But uh, maybe you could go Chronos Pendant and then this instead is like Spirit Robe, which would not, would not be that good. But yeah, that's kind of my thought process on full cooldown Kuzubo with Bumpus Hammer. Uh, really, really fun. 
Uh, definitely could have worked. Like I could have won that game. I just I just made a lot of mistakes, which is perfectly fine because I don't play smite as much as I used to. But uh, yeah, just just stick with the Bumpus Hammer and go with the uh, uh, different items for this and this especially. And I think you'll you'll end up doing a lot better with Kuzbo. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and have a good day.